Okay, with G Suite, in order to kick D Kim into action, you want to go to the uh, main admin console and then you want to click on apps. And you can click to this admin console just by clicking on this Google admin in the top left corner. Then go to apps. Then go to Google Workspace. Then click on Gmail, not the checkbox, but just the icon. And finally, right here, authenticate email, set up DKIM. And this is what happens if you're not a super admin. Only super admins can manipulate the mail setting. So if you don't have super admin permissions, go back to your client, get them, and come back to this spot. Okay, this is what you should see when you click on that mail link. Okay, to start with, we're going to select the domain that this applies to. Now, you notice the status right here says not authenticating email. So this has not been set up yet. Uh, now, if you don't see this information down here, you can click generate a new record, and that'll put that there for you. Okay, now I'm using Cloudflare for this demonstration. You can do the same thing on whatever server environment that you're using. But you're going to create a text record. To start off, we're going to highlight and copy the actual text record name. We're going to come over here to the server environment. In Cloudflare, we're just going to add a new record. We're going to make sure it is a text record. We will paste that um, text record name right there. Next thing we need to do is get the content. The content is going to be right here, the string right here. We'll right-click on that, copy. We're getting it where it starts with the V, and don't get any excess space. Okay, we'll right-click and paste that right here. And if there are any blank lines underneath this, you're going to need to make sure they're deleted because that will fail the process. And then hit Save. That'll give you a text record similar to this. And you notice proxy status in uh, Cloudflare says DNS only. And all that's fine. You don't need to change anything. Now we're going to close our server environment. And we're going to come back to Gmail, Google. And we're going to click Start Authentication. That starts the process. And you notice it says it may take up to 48 hours for DNS to fully propagate. And that is all. That's the end of the process. Well, it says to allow 48 hours, but here we are 10 minutes later, and I'm going to try and validate this record just to see if everything's working okay. Uh, and typically the DNS doesn't take that long to populate, but they give themselves plenty of padding just in case. So I'm coming to this uh, mxtoolbox.com, D-K-I-M dot A-S-P-X, and I'm going to enter in the uh, domain name that I want to look up. And then uh, selector, it's a little ambiguous, but if you look, uh, well, they give it to you if you highlight it. Uh, but more specifically, right here, they talk about it. You remember earlier when we uh, copy and pasted, we had that string that had um, an underscore and a period before it right here. Let me grab that. I'll bring that over so you can kind of take a look at that. I'm going to paste it up top here. And you'll notice the selector is before the period the underscore, and the domain key. So the selector is, in fact, just the word Google. We're going to put that right here. And then we'll check it out. And it looks like we've got good news. Uh, green checks right down the line. Uh, confirms that we're with Cloudflare. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Record found. Record's valid. Public key is, is valid. So... It's safe to say that DKIM is doing what it's supposed to do at this point. Thanks for watching.